Hi teachers, it's Laura from Travel and Teach Online FAQ and in today's video I'm talking about all the different types of classes that you'll come across if you work for Dada. Now there are five types of classes. The first are trial classes and you will probably see these quite a bit in the beginning. They can be 14 or 30 minutes long and these classes are for children who are new to the company so they haven't signed up yet. This means it's really important to try and sell yourself and sell the company to get the parents to sign up. The downside to trial classes is because they're free, um, parents can often cancel them last minute or they just don't show up. The good thing is that if you convert the trial and the parent signs up for the company, then you get a nice little bonus. I think it's 50 UN or about somewhere between like 7 and $10, I'm not really sure. And you also get some reward points. So the best way to tell if you've converted a trial or not is to go to your reward point page, which is under personal at the top of the teacher center. And for every trial you convert, you'll get plus 1000 points. So if you see uh, 1000 points on your um, reward point graph, chart, whatever it is, then congratulations, you have converted a trial. So the next type of class is a VIP trial. And like trials, this can be 14 or 30 minutes long. The main difference is that these students are already with the company, but they are looking for a new teacher. So if you don't have a full schedule of regular students yet, this is a great opportunity to get some new students. So again, sell yourself, sell the company, and yeah, as always, try and teach to your best. Hopefully you'll get some new students this way. The third type of class is an interest class. Now these are extra classes. Um, I'll talk about formal classes in a moment. So these are extra classes that students can do based on usually their interests or their needs. These are always 30 minutes long and I think the parents or the students can choose what they want the class to be about. Sometimes they're like phonics or reading, science and maths. Um, they can be quite fun. I really like interest classes. They're a great way to meet other students, to get a little break from your regular students. And because they've usually they've been with Dada before, they kind of know everything already. So they haven't got the, the pressures of the trial to kind of get them to use the pen, understand how things work. Um, so yeah, I've had some wonderful interest classes, so they're a great thing. The fourth type of class is your formal class, and these are with your regular students. If you haven't already got them, hopefully soon you will have a full schedule of regular students. These are students that you see one, two or three times, even like five times a week. If they are your student, you'll find them on my students list at the top of the teacher centre. If you're teaching a student a formal class and they're not your regular student, don't worry, you're probably just covering another teacher who is on holiday or is sick. So again, formal classes are usually 30 minutes long. Occasionally, I've never had this in a year, but occasionally you will get students who book two 30 minutes back to back. So they have like an hour. If this is the case, after the first 30 minutes, you do need to leave the classroom and enter the new one. I think a few people have had hour long classes as well, but these are super rare. If you do see them, don't worry. It's not a glitch usually. Um, just prepare to teach two classes or like one hour class back to back. All right, the last type of class is the assessment class. And again, these are classes that can often panic new teachers who are seeing them for the first time. Usually you'll have an assessment test with your regular student. And when you click on the little slide, it will just say this is an assessment test. They're nothing to worry about. Simply, they are 35 multiple choice questions that the student has to answer. I have made a full video all about assessment tests, as which I will link below. And this will give you more information about how to conduct it, what to expect, what to do with your students afterwards, and a few other tips and tricks. So yeah, I will leave that down below. So these are the five types of classes at Dada. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any more questions about class types, about teaching, about Dada, then please comment me or leave a message. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.